All right, we're back. The restoration guys, try these holes, dry this place out, you know. So drilling a hole, one of the restoration guys got a hold of a half inch copper line that's in the wall. So I'm gonna get my square Sharpie. I'm gonna make a nice cut here and access it and then I cut out the damaged section and repair it. Um, this guy, he hits him all the time, he's funny. Eddie, I call him Fast Eddie. And uh, yeah, I gotta send that guy Christmas cards, you know. He hits him all, the, he keeps me busy just hitting copper water lines all the time with a sawzall or a drill or, you know, whatever, whatever tool he got in his hand, he just, Copper, copper water line magnet with it. So, uh, since it's the day before Thanksgiving and all, I'll cut out the damaged section. I'll make a necklace or something out yeah, of it for him. the hole. My thumb is. That's where. Fast Eddie strikes again. So, I cut that out. It was over here, soft copper. I don't have soft copper, so what I'm gonna do is put Weir's bow and I'm gonna run PEX and fish it from there to there. And that's a lot better to be up against cast iron anyway, because you know, you don't want two dissimilar metals touching one another. Like here they've got some sleeve in but and a little bit of room there because it reduces but in this case I want to come up and around and you know and I I could do it in hard copper but I then I've got the dilemma of they touch so I, I want to avoid that I want to bring packs and get it tied in so I show you right now soldered adapters there and there transition adapters the two of them so <clears throat> there we go same now you know if it touches it's up against it but it's tight quarters you know copper 
you know, had the, the cathode and the anode, you know, electrolysis, it would have been bad, bad news for the copper. So this is, in my opinion, better installation. I mean, you know, just a small section transition is not going to hurt the whole system. So thanks for watching. I almost forgot. Since Fast Eddie likes to keep me so busy, I decided to attach some form string to this and make a necklace form for an early Christmas present. So 